How's it going, Four Barrel family? Welcome back. Hopefully you guys enjoyed your skill strength session with our deadlifts and our core complex. We're gonna move right along today into our Metcon. We are going eight minute AMRAP, five dumbbell or kettlebell pullover. If you do have a pull-up bar, we can go five pull-up. Today, those can be strict or kipping. As promised in Monday's daily health bulletin, we are gonna to begin to work back into some kipping reps up on the rig in both our pull-ups and our toe to bar. After that, we're gonna go six single arm sumo deadlift tackle, three left, three right, 10 of those good frog hop, and 20 alternating plank drag throughs. Remember, for those good dumbbell or kettlebell pullovers, we're gonna tuck our feet up by our butt, arms are gonna be locked out, we're gonna keep those ribs tucked down, extend down as far as I can without my low back popping up or needing to bend at the elbow. A trick on me is breathe in every time your arms are over your chest. And as you lower down, exhale, push those ribs down to the floor. And that's gonna prevent you guys from popping those hips up off the ground. From there, we're going six single arm sumo deadlift high pull. Remember, we can find those by putting our feet together, going heels, toes, heels, and toes. We are shooting for that dumbbell or kettlebell to always stay in that same line. I prefer to line up my dumbbell handle with that first cross shoelace on my shoe as a minimum, if not in a little bit closer toward the ankle. So from here, remember this is very much a leg driven movement. I'm gonna drive through my hamstrings, my glutes and my hips. And then I'm just going to finish at the top, elbow, wrist, then thumb and collar in line. From there, we're gonna go to our frog hops. For our frog hops, they're always gonna start at the bottom of that burpee. We're trying to jump the inside of our feet up to the outside of our pinkies. As so. And then from there, we are going to go 20 of those alternating kettlebell or dumbbell plank drag throughs. Remember on these, we want to reach across so we are dragging the object through. We're not pushing the object through. So you're always going to grab across your body and then finish on the same side. On these, we're looking for a tight belly and a tight butt. That way we're not shifting in our hips too much. We're staying nice and tight. For 20, good plank drag through. We'll turn to the side so you guys can get another view of that. Feet are about shoulder width. Squeeze your butt, squeeze your belly. 20 of those good alternating plank directors. Hope you guys have a great workout. Don't forget yoga with Dustin tomorrow at 9 a.m. on our Facebook page. Hopefully you guys have had a great start to your week. Look forward to seeing you guys back here on Friday.